And welcome back everyone, it's me Piggy Gaming here. Welcome back to more Mutant Genetica Lady Ideas news. Well, it's like a news, but it's the latest news guys. So this is happening thick and fast. Um, I'm actually a couple of days late on this. Uh, just been preparing my daughter for her first day of school, which is happening tomorrow as of this recording. Uh, yeah, so latest news from Celsius Online. People get confused with uh, Kabojo. Kabojo originally owned the game. Celsius Online bought them brought the rights for the game from them. So just a little FYI there. But no one's bothered to update the logos or anything when you start up the game. <laughs> okay, guys. So um, they've got weekly updates. So obviously, this is a weekly thing. I don't know. Maybe I should make it part of the, the news rather than just a little snippet of it. But I feel like I can con concentrate and give you my full opinion if it's separated from the news. But who knows? I don't know. Anyway, guys. So weekly update. We'll keep try, uh, trying to address your previous questions slash suggestions whenever we have enough to give you some uh, suitable and substantial news. Okay, so rooftop expansion. Although this idea has been highly requested for the time being, it is not possible. It would be a huge change and impact a lot of areas of the game. It doesn't mean we'll never make it happen, but we have to be careful about it and take it uh, take in consideration all the aspects of it before implementing this in game. Uh, we choose to prioritize. Uh, we choose to prioritize other elements. We choose. We chose to prioritize other elements, but we're keeping your suggestions in mind. So yeah, this was heavily suggested. More rooftop space and. I'm for one, I gave my opinion about this on the live stream. Um, someone during the live stream, sorry if I can't remember your name. You guys know me. I can barely remember. Well, if you don't know me or you know me, I can never remember anyone's name. Yet if I still see the name, I can't pronounce it. So, yeah, uh, you guys know my opinion. Well, if you watch my live stream, you guys know my opinion on this. I don't see a point of more rooftop space. The only reason why... <sighs> I can think, the only reason I can possibly think that anyone wants any more roof space is they want to collect, what well, every mutant they have, they want to display on their rooftop. That's the only reason I can think about it. Like if we got another rooftop, if we got another building rooftop available in the game, all I would use it for is more um, bounty hunters to collect more credits. So, you know, the, the only reason why I'd see people suggest this is because they want that they want more roof space to try and display all the mutants they have. I, I, I don't know. It like, you know, it looks pretty, but I understand what the problems would be. Like, you know, there will be a lot of lag and issues uh, chucking more mutants on there because you've got to remember each mutants is, is moving on the rooftop and things like that. So to implement another one, two, three rooftops for that. It's, uh, I don't know, it's, I, I don't see why that was heavily requested. Because in the long one run as well, I use probably, I've got my three, I've got my A team, which is full of three units, and then I alter those three mutants with other mutants, depending on what I'm facing in PvP. So, you know, always I'm, I'd put Steel Garden in the, in any team if I can. But if the if my opponent is heavily favoring, favoring Saber, then obviously he will be dropped from the team and I'll put in uh, the Animus. I'll put in Animus. Uh, and, you know, I've got Glubber that I'm working on now. Uh, I've got uh, Spin Fury, who's my fast mutant to use my tag. Uh, Thundershock I still need to work on a lot. Uh, there's uh, sound killer. I really like sound killer. I like to check. So you know, you you have probably about, I'd say a maximum of ten mutants. That's my personal opinion. I'd say a maximum of ten mutants that you would sort of switch and change. And then there's another hundred plus mutants that you have that you will never use in PvP. Never. You they're probably not even up to your max level. That's how hard it is this game to grind and make them up to your max level so obviously if you're a very low rank you can level up mutants quick but i'm at uh, my evolution level is at 120 130 so it's really tedious to level up each mutant to that max so yeah the, that's that's my opinion on the roof expansion it's it should be put in the back shelf to, to think of that dead last really because there's just no point. Why? Let me know down below. Why do you guys want the rooftop expansion? 
I don't, I don't, I don't get it. So yeah, let me know down below guys, what you feel about the rooftop expansion. Cause I don't know why that was heavily suggested. It, it, it's, I, I would want so much more added to the game other than a additional rooftop. Okay. Challenge hall and exchange office changes as requested. They will change more often. Both the challenge hall and exchange office will have their next change in February. So thanks, thanks for your patience. So yes, the next change will be in February. What I would like to know is how often the changes are going to be. Is it going to be every month? So yeah, I, I do understand if the next change is in February, but how often? I would like to be told whether it's every month, every two months, or every three months, whatever they got planned. I would like to know. So with that in mind, guys, make sure you save up your jackpot tokens. Your jackpot tokens are worth more now. So I would say, especially if you're in my similar situation with the game where you've got a lot of mutants, the mutant slots is now more risky to play, considering we know fingers crossed we get in the exchange office and challenge hall of uh, challenge hall mutants change in every month or two so we, we need to make sure we save up enough to buy the new mutants for that and then finally they've just got bug fixes here we have more bug fixes on the way but they have not been released yet we'll tell you more about them when we when they're ready for release so some of these bug change chases like uh, changes <laughs> fixes uh, I have a lot of problems with the black hole experiment, Ex especially on my phone. It just crashes the game. I think I've shown it during the live stream. It, it, it worked two or three times and then it crashed on my phone. The game crashed on my phone. So, you know, they're, they're probably trying to fix bugs like that. Obviously it's a bit complicated right now. So, you know, but look, this is all good stuff guys that they're, they're keeping us up to date with all of this stuff. So, you know, it, it's really good. I like to give my personal opinion about it. So basically from this one, how do you guys feel about that rooftop expansion? Let me know down below. I'm very, very interested in knowing what each and every one of you think about the rooftop expansion because yeah, oh, you, I gave you my opinion. I gave you my opinion. So I'll just leave it at that. But I'm curious if, if you were one of the ones that commented more rooftop space, why? Why? That I just want to know that. I'm not... I don't want to get into a drawn into a debate, but I just feel like it's not important, especially if you have bounty hunters or a lot of bankers or big bosses, you want to fill your rooftop up with those guys to get more credits. You know, I've got two rooftops just dedicated to mutants that I may use, but I, I only use maybe less than half of those mutants as well. I can probably afford to cut it down to one rooftop of mutants that I use. And the rest should be bounty hunters. That's, yeah. Uh, and the challenge also, fingers crossed, it's like, I probably would like it to be every month. It will be hard to keep up, but to have a new mute in there every month would probably be good for the game. Uh, make us complete the bingo grid more often. And the bug fixes, obviously, they, they haven't said anything's fixed yet. Nothing's been released. So they'll let us know that in due time. So guys, that is it for this slight news update. Um, slow and steady. If this is still available, I'm not sure. I've been kind of lacking in the uh, in the gameplay. Like I said, been getting my daughter ready for her first week of school um, with helping my wife and things like that. So slow and steady. I'm just checking now to see if it's available because I may do a video of it later tomorrow because I know the game's not going to update by then. Uh, so I'll just quickly check that. And if that's the case, then I'll probably do a video on that. And yeah, it's still there. So expect a video on that tomorrow, guys. Uh, yeah. So, and that's, that's pretty much it. Is this new yesterday? So we got a new PVE mute. Well, not a new, but this is a PVE mutant that's going to come into effect. And who cares about bio hedgehog? Can I find it very quickly? I know what it looks like. I uh, can't seem to find it. 
Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I know it's probably somewhere easy. I know what it looks like by a hedgehog. One, you know, a little bit of a favorite. There he is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, that was the latest news, guys, from Celsius Online about the game. So, yes, let me know how you feel about the rooftop expansions, definitely. And also, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You want to go that little extra further and help your buddy Peaky out, feel free to share this video on any social media platform or forms as you see fit. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time, guys. Bye.